This year's race for the World Bank presidency is shaping up to be a concerted effort by emerging economies in Africa to challenge tradition and elect a World Bank president who's not an American. Nigerian Finance Minister and former World Bank Managing Director Ngozi Okonjo Iweala is one of the three candidates for the job. Africa is excited about this nomination. They see it as their nomination. The 54-year-old Nigerian finance minister is hoping to not only become the first female World Bank president, but also the first non-American appointee. However, Okonjo Iweala, who's a Harvard-trained economist, former World Bank managing director, and now Nigeria's finance minister, has to battle it out with two other candidates, including the former Colombian finance minister, Jose Antonio Campo, and the American nominee, Dartmouth College president, Jim Yong Kim, for the plum position at the financial institution. One of them will replace the outgoing president, Robert Zelik, in July of this year, when his term officially ends. His replacement, however, needs to be known by the 20th of April. This is the first time the position traditionally held by an American citizen is being contested in this manner. The Nigerian finance minister has won the support of 39 former World Bank staff members, whereas Kim enjoys the support of Europe and Japan. Under an informal agreement between the Americans and Europe, an American citizen has always headed the World Bank since its founding in 1944, and a European has always led the International Monetary Fund since its founding after the Second World War.